The following video is a presentation of the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau of the U.S. Department of the Treasury. Let's look at how to determine proof obscuration by evaporation. If your spirit contains more than 400 but not more than 600 milligrams of solids per 100 milliliters of spirits, you must determine true proof by first measuring the apparent proof, such as with a hydrometer or densitometer, then adding the proof obscuration. The evaporation method may be used only for spirits in the range of 80 to 100 degrees proof. An analytical balance reading to at least four decimal places is needed for this test. Weigh a dried, empty aluminum dish on an analytical balance. Next, add 25 milliliters of sample spirits to the weighed dish. Place on a steam bath and evaporate to dryness. Once dry, place the dish in an oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Next, remove the pan from the oven and place in a desiccator to cool to room temperature. Once cool, place on the balance and weigh. Subtract the initial from the final weight to get the weight of the residue. Multiply the weight of the residue by four to determine the weight of solids in 100 milliliters. Then, multiply the weight of the solids in 100 milliliters by 4 again, which will equal the obscuration. Finally, add the obscuration value to the apparent proof of the spirits as determined by hydrometer and thermometer or by densitometer. This will give you the true proof. For example, if the weight of remaining solids is 0.125 grams after evaporation of 25 milliliters of spirits of an apparent proof of 80, the amount of solids present in 100 milliliters of the spirits is 0.5 grams. The obscuration is therefore equal to two proof, and the true proof of the spirits is 82. For questions, comments, or more information on any of the topics in this presentation, refer to the TTB website at ttb.gov slash spirits slash proofing.